Hello, in the last video we learned already how to implement the Bluetooth Low Energy Battery Service as peripheral uh, with SAFE here and also how to uh, implement the environmental sensing service. Um, now in this video we will create our own custom service since in a lot of use cases <coughs> the predefined services are uh, not fitting for our use case. Yeah. For example, if we want to implement a solar charger where you can read out the settings and changing the settings, you need much more uh, parameters and characteristics and there is no profile for this. If you don't know what char characteristics means and profile, the generic attribute profile get and the generic access profile, uh, take a look at the previous video about the theoretical part from Bluetooth Low Energy or you can also uh, get this information from my book yeah, which you can buy on Amazon and of course there is much more uh, described uh, like the whole protocols uh, for um, WSN like Thread, oh, <coughs> um, Meta and so on. And uh, here in our example now we will implement a GUT server again, we will exclude this time the battery service and the uh, environmental sensing service. We only uh, will make the custom service and we define their temperature by our own but with a better resolution. Yeah. So the use case will be again our peripherals, uh, developer kit will have the custom service with uh, custom characteristics and our mobile phone for example or in our case here is the Nordic dangle with the NRF Connect Bluetooth Low Energy application will be uh, the central device. As basic application we will start with our uh, previous example for the environmental sensing service and remove the uh, part which is not interesting for us and um, add there first our own custom um, service ID and this is a 128-bit UID. Um, <coughs> it's normally uh, in the format like you're seeing here yeah and how to get this ID I mean you don't have to find it out one by your own you can take it randomly of course but there are only uh, also online UID generator. Yeah? Here is for example one and you're seeing it's present you here UID in the previous format uh, which you saw except that there are hyphens and we have to exchange it with a comma. So I did this already <coughs> and uh, I store it in the macro um, UID my custom service value and um, I encode it already as uh, array here, you see this. Um, since uh, other macros, the service itself is then defined um, as a data type and it's uh, needing then this kind of uh, uh, array. Yeah, you see here, then the service itself, it's a struct from BTU idea. Um, an array with a UID type and then the value as array. Uh, yeah. It's looking a little bit complex but it's actually only um, this array. So <coughs> what we don't need anymore is the battery level. I will remove this. Also here settings the battery level and in the project configuration I also remove the battery service and the header file we are also not needing anymore. So and here we are the first thing what we have to do is to advertise our own service yeah? and uh, for this we are just creating a new entry and entry in our area here and we are saying that's a 128 bit UID and uh, give here the area, so the value from our 
uh, UID as array. And when we uh, do this already, uh, I mean, I, uh, well, I think I can let this inside. Um, if I build this, and flash it to our board. You see when we are connecting to our device and going on details, we're seeing now that here is only uh, the service which we are defined before here. Yeah, see here's the UID and uh, I mean we can connect this but we still get then the old um, environmental sensing service part, the battery service we already exclude, but um, like you see here, the uh, other service is still the environmental sensing service. And now what we want to do is to adding our own service and a characteristic. And for this we need also a 128-bit value for the UID. And um, I'm using actually the same except that I change here one bit. Yeah, you can also use a totally different one, but um, I use in this case here the same except changing one bit at the end. And then, uh, of course, the battery which I want to store in this case, we are using now 32 bits that we're having a longer value and saying, um, for example, that we are using four decimal places, so uh, it has then a better resolution. <coughs> and now I have to uh, define my own custom service, can take whatever name I want, and um, here replacing then instead our, our service which we defined here uh, and as characteristic we are just using one characteristic in this case and uh, we are setting there our temperature characteristic here. So. It still should be readable, with permission for reading it out, and my callback function will be my read temperature, so my read temperature function. We don't have to change here anything since um, it's taking the, um, our temperature itself, giving the value here back, and this is just a pointer, and it's uh, the length will be the size of the temperature, so it's automatically fitting. And when we now build this and flash it to our board, then I make a new scan. We're seeing here our Bluetooth device with our service. We connect <coughs> to this service and we're seeing now here a characteristic with the UID which we gave before. and um, I can read it out, uh, just read it, and you see here's a value, I can cross-check it again, um, so the so value is little endian again, so it will be 03 A E 52 and you're seeing here our decimal value is Two, four, one, two, three, four. So <coughs> we have a better solution. I mean, we store it as integer, of course, but we can just divide it through um, <coughs> um, ten thousand, and then we're getting the decimal part and also the decimal places after the point. Now we learned also how to implement our own custom service with our. 128-bit UID and uh, this one characteristics you can always add, of course, another characteristics on the same way. Um, and uh, yeah, for your application, 
like you need it for solar charger, for example, like temperature and voltage settings and so on. So, see you in the next video.